paddle down to there. Anyway, guys, now half of this trip we're going to have to haul with it because we got a way later start than I wanted. We got nine hours to do 11 miles. We're going to motor about half this trip without fishing just to get ahead. That way we don't panic at the end with no flashlight. God, you didn't get nothing ready. As I think I got a walleye, I'm not sure yet. It ain't fighting like a bass whatsoever. It's a walleye. Oh, it's a nice one. Too. Nope, it's a big spotted bass. He's real big though, like three pounds again. Oh my goodness, that's a big spot. Not as big as yesterday's, but he's up there. Guys, I'm loving this Bandit Blueback crankbait. It's just, it's caught me some really big fish. They love it. They absolutely love it. No, it's a drum. Oh man. Well, it's a nice one though, I guess, right? Thought it was a big spotted. Too bad it couldn't have been a walleye, huh? <laughs> well, it's a start. <laughs> He's about four or five pounds. Oh, oh. He's really brown colored. Almost look like an ocean drum. Wow, pretty big. Not bad. Oh, I thought I had me a big old spotted bass again. I swore that's what I seen. Make any major movements because my camera is on my backpack. Do not wiggle like him. All right. I'll let you go if you calm down. Oh my God, come on, man. So close to getting you. All right, guys. First fish of the day about a four, four and a half pound drum on a Bandit 200 Chartreuse Blueback again. And he just peed on me, that felt good. All right. Not a bad drum though, gotta admit, it's pretty decent. I'm gonna get him back in. He did put up a hell of a fight. Huh, look at that thing. Yeah. Big. eagle right in front of me here flying around there she is and she's gone but she may come back up oh we hit it as soon as it hit the water he's on there got it do you see that oh the, mm, he got off and then got back on <laughs> oh my goodness spotted bass he hit it as soon as it hit the water. He was on there. Then he fell off halfway in, then he got back on. I'm just gonna go back and hook on that tree a few minutes before I end up whacking into a tree here in a second. God, I gotta hurry up. All right, guys. Small spotted bass, about 10 inches on the Bandit 200. We're 
anchor will be way over here where we can cast over to it. Because if you're too close, then it's not a good thing. You don't want to be right on top of them. Got a real large mouth this time. And we're about to hit a serious rapid. I gotta get this guy off and back in. Yep, that is a large mouth, not a spotted. Oh, and I need the pliers, big time. That's fish number three. We got a drum spotted and a largemouth. He's only about 11 inches. Nothing to brag about. And I gotta get him back because I gotta go through this rapid. All right. All right, folks, I'm at one of my favorite spots of this float. It's a big gravel bar and a big side bay or I guess you can call it a salute. It can be deceiving though. It'll be really good one time and then the next time you won't get a thing. It just depends. They, they go over here when they want to get out of that current and this is kind of a weird time of the year into September now. All through October they're all over here. So, ooh, there went something. Especially the crappie they come over here to in this warmer water and of course it's calmer too so we're going to start off with a crankbait and if that don't work i'm going to throw that crappie jig around i might be able to get a crappie this early you just never know last year i caught a three pound largemouth and smallmouth back to back out of this hole. And she's caught some really nice crappie out of it. I have too. It's usually a really good hole. It just depends if they're here or not. Mid-September can be a hard time to figure out fish and figure out their pattern. At least where I'm located because it's getting ready to I call it the transition period. They're kind of confused. It just cooled off a lot at night, several days in a row, and they're probably not used to the water temperature yet. There we go. All right, big one. Got something nice here, guys. Oh, yeah. What is this? White bass. Awesome. Oh my gosh, big white bass. Wow. Guys, this is only my second ever white bass out of this river system. Because it's so cold, they prefer warm water. Yeah. They prefer warm water and they are in here. You're just not in great numbers. I'm just washing it. Okay, here, take the camera. What did I just talk about an hour ago? It would be nice to get a white bass. Remember that? All right, guys, my second ever white bass out of this river system. Second, only my second one ever. The other one was about 40 miles south of here. There's not many of them in here. Not enough to purposely fish for them anymore.
All right, guys. Hey, that makes my day. He's a pretty decent white bass, too. He's about 14 inches. Pretty nice. Beautiful day out here, guys. Real windy. Everything's cooling off. The humidity's gone. The leaves are getting ready to start falling. This is my favorite time of the year. This whole next month until Halloween. Just can't beat it. All right. Let's let this guy go. That is awesome. Someone's got a big walleye. You lucky. Oh my God. Oh, let me get the dip net. It's too hard to get. Just pull him up. He's hooked. He's hooked. Just pull him up. Pull him up. He's hooked. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, we got a walleye guys and it's a nice one. He's, he's, he's about 20. He's about 19 or 20 again. Guys, she caught this on a bomber fat free shad of all things. Look at this guys. Nice walleye, bomber fat free shad that looks like a bluegill. Let me make sure I'm recording. My God, we got lucky again. Now we had a good day. I put my pliers away. Hold on. I know. And you had him hooked good. He what? That's a weird lure to get him on, to be honest. Okay, guys. Yeah, he's 20, maybe even 21. All right, take a picture of me holding it and then I'll get you holding it. Don't close it. Hmm. Your hold is easy. It's easy to jump. Yeah, but I'm holding him right in the center. Nice walleye, guys, about 20 inches. Not bad, we finally got one. Didn't expect to even get one today. Hopefully we get one at the spring we're getting right ahead to. Right there. Just like you're doing, but hide your fingers more. Your other ones lower them down on their belly. Just, as long as you keep him above and when he flops, just hold him just like you're doing. Down a little bit. Right there, right there. Good catch, honey. That made our day, guys. We, we've been not, we haven't been able to fish much because we had to move and make good time. It's a nice walleye. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I just got my first smallmouth of the day on a Bandit 300 brown crawl orange belly. About an 11 incher. Not horrible, but not huge, but there was another one falling it, so I'm gonna Roll back up there and see if I can get the one that was following behind. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. We're gonna find out. I thought it was a walleye. Spotted bass. It was bumping in the mud and I could feel it going like this. So I, and I felt, all I felt was the bump, I felt him striking it like three separate times. So I thought a walleye was pecking at it. All right guys, Bandit 300, brown crawl orange bottom, spotted bass, nine or 10 inches, nothing worth bragging about. Is a fish though. Uh -oh. 
You got one? You probably got a walleye then. Is it? My God. Get him back here. Get him back here. Keep tension on it. Keep that pole bent the whole time and get him back here by me. I'll net him for you. That's a good walleye. Man, you lucky. I didn't get a single one today. Oh my God, right when we was trolling, huh? It sure is. I haven't seen it yet. It's either that or a channel cat. It's real, no, you got something snap. Oh yes, you did, yep. Get it. Oh, oh man. All right, Wilma with our second. Well, you've never caught two in one day, have you? Oh man. Can't keep him though. They gotta be 15. He's only, he's right at 15, but. He's almost 16. Your hook's bent real bad. Yeah, he's about, he's, 16. he's about 16 or 17. Here, okay, oh, don't, no, leave it here. I want you to take the camera and I want to show it with the, the crankbait in its mouth. There we go. Amazing. Yes. It's a nice walleye. Not as big as the other one, but man, you did good today, huh? Oh Two walleye. Oh. Hold it, Gordon. He's Lose about, it. he's 18. Probably. He's bigger yeah. than I It's big. He's definitely 15, I think. Now I don't know what is the one in the About, yeah, he's 18. Wow. Right, hold him up. Just like that. He's the one I yeah. Alright, good job. And <laughs> yeah, we ended up doing good now, huh? Yeah. Not a bad day, guys. We didn't catch numbers. But... All right, we, so we got to go back to the corner and then just let it float down right here then. Oops. Don't you think? Huh? Just go back to the corner and let the current float us down this way. Oh my God, I saw fishes jumping really big. Yep, I seen it. Yep, all right, Wilma's on something here, guys. I think it's a gar. Yeah, whoa, man. I think he splashed the camera. Let me check. I got lucky. Yeah. It's a. I think it's a long nose. Yeah. All It's a. All right, guys. Well, we got a long nose. My battery's blinking. My battery's blinking. I gotta change it. Yeah, it's a long nose or spotted. I think it's a long nose with a long nose gar. Pretty short, he's under 20, right at 20. All right, got her on the bomber fat free shad again. Goodness, just hold it right there. Don't, 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 do, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. Okay. Oh, you got one. You got a bass. Large mouth. Crappie. Oh my God. Out of all them casts we just casted, guys, 
Oh my God, you lucky dog. Right at dark. Now be careful. Don't blow it up. Don't blow it up. Guys, Wilma just got a nice 12 inch crappie. We've been throwing at these buffalo. They're the big school buffalo and they just keep coming up. We just keep throwing the crankbait a hundred times. I guess I'm gonna get one of them lures. Caught you two walleye and a big crappie. Big white crappie. Let me zoom in on you. Now we had a good day there. Right at the end, we, we, we was patient. Hold it up for us with the lure too. There you go. Mm. Whoa. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, go sideways, I guess. Yeah, like that. There you go. Man, that's a nice crappie. Yeah. I didn't get the buffalo. I get the... Man. He's 12. Probably. I told you they were in here. You want to keep him? He's already got the two wall on. He might go third. Hmm. I, th I thought it was a little bad. No, he wasn't fighting hard enough. I just hit one. I can't believe we finally got a crop. You've been fishing here two hours. You haven't caught a single thing except a tiny gar. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we had a slow day. But we did get variety and we did get quality except on the small mouse and large mouse and spots the walleye were decent the white bass and the crappie were decent i caught two large mouth two spotted bass one small mouth and the white bass she caught a gar two walleye and a crappie until next time hit that like button and please subscribe <laughs>